What's going on there, friends? My name is m 2 and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Yellow for the Game Boy Color. We're all up last time. We defeated Koga of the Future City Gym, and now in this part, we are suddenly back to this route right here. You might recognize this as the route that we were on our way to Rock Tunnel, but I'm suddenly back to this route because my phone ring is ringing. We're back to this route suddenly because one, you might notice I have 35 Ultra Balls all of a sudden. I don't know what that's all about. And then, but we are going to surf over here now that we can surf. And this is what surfing looks like. Uh, well, I briefly showed it, but here we are out over here and we're going to see what is going on here below this route now that we can figure out what's going on with this right here. Alrighty, with that, we are going to see what we got going on down over here, and this is the power plant, so we're going to go ahead and head on inside here. This is the power plant. It is a crazy looking place, as you can see. This is completely optional. You don't have to go here whatsoever, but the reason I'm going here is because I have access to this place now that I've surfed. And the gimmick behind this place is that we got wild Pokemon on some of these item balls. So some of these item balls contain Voltorbs, you know, the fake item ball, the Pokemon that looks like a Pokeball. There's also some high level Pokemon that apparently I'm not level enough to take care of and prevent them from encountering me. TM33 contains Reflect. I'm not a fan of that move. Okay, I have a complaint. Apparently Swift can hit even though I'm underground? I don't understand that logic. Okay, so to go over the Pokemon that you can find here... You can find... Magnetons, the evolved form of Magnemite. You can find Grimer, you can find Muck, Voltorb, and Electrodes. All those are wonderful Pokemon that you can find over here. There are no trainers in this place at all, so you don't have to worry about that. If you're just interested in just going to this place, then it really doesn't take that long to figure it out. But then it can also be annoying with all these fake item balls that disguise themselves with the Voltorbs and Electrodes and whatever. Okay, fortunately that's not an item, a fake item ball. There's really no indication as to knowing when you're going to encounter these fake items. You just kind of just hope for the best. Like that! I failed! Okay, that was scary. I just got destroyed there. Okay, I'm gonna backtrack a bit because I feel like I miss some stuff because I feel like I'm going the right way. But later on down the line, when you get pretty deep into this place, then you will start to encounter wild electrodes, which are really powerful. Ooh, TM25 contains Thunder? Ooh, I'm gonna teach that to Yellow later on down the line. That's exciting. Let's spray another Repel. What do we got here? Of course! Okay, going back on track after exploring that little tidbit there, we're going to continue onwards, and we're gonna see what we got going on here. Any hidden items here? Ooh, I just kind of guessed and found that right there. That's pretty cool. There's a few hidden items that I don't really know off the top of my head. Oh my god, it's a bird! 
What could this bird be? I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and swap up for it. And then you probably want to save, because you don't really get another shot at this at all. But let's do this. Kayo! This is Zapdos, the first legendary Pokemon of the game here. Zapdos is categorized under three legendary bird Pokemon, and Zapdos is one of them. And so, all of the bird Pokemon that we're going to be finding, they're on level 50. This one is Electric Ground Type with Drill Pick and Thundershock. So, two attacking moves, and I'm very weak, so I anticipate that I'm probably going to get myself destroyed. But, let's just try our best here. So, I'm going to go ahead and go for an Ember here. This might actually be a good, a bad, a bad thing that I sent out from Char Charizard, because I think I'm dead. Oh my god, I barely lived that. Okay. Um, can Slash kill? I hope, so. I hope I don't kill it, because I don't want to... Okay, we didn't kill it, but we're still dead anyway. Wow. Man, because it uh, Zapdos only has two moves, I'm really afraid that I am going to lose, and that's not good. So, to prevent that from happening, I'm going to go ahead and revive Yellow, I guess? Okay, fully paralyzed. Doesn't really mean much in the long run. Uh, I guess Psybeam? So for legendary Pokemon, if you want to catch legendary Pokemon, you want to weaken the Pokemon as much as you can. And then uh, when you're confident enough, which is what I did there, then you can start chucking balls at the Pokemon. Now, legendary Pokemon tend to have very low catch rates, so if it takes a while for you to catch your Pokemon, then don't be surprised, because it's it's normal. But let's just do our best here. So with that being said, um, oh yeah, in Gen 1, you're gonna miss Pokeba Pokeballs, and when it actually when it when you don't miss, then you caught it. And that's how catching works for Legendary Pokemon. It makes no sense. But yeah, that's it. Um, so, enjoy the show. Wow, that was really easy. Okay. Didn't really take much right there. So there we go, we caught ourselves with Zapdos. This legendary bird Pokemon is said to appear when the sky turns dark and lightning showers down. Very awesome. So there's our Zapdos. And you can get out of here, but there's still a little bit more left here, as I just noticed that there's two items that I didn't get. So let's uh, see how, how I can get those items. Okay, so... I don't know if anyone can tell which part of the place I'm at, but we're gonna head this way, and this is how we're gonna get to these items right here. What do we what do we got here? Bye bye! I have no need for a freaking Voltorb, man. What is this? Another one! Jeez, man, is that it? A max elixir, but I have no rooms for it. Okay, we're out of here. Enter this side, and that's how we get out of here. That's just another exit. And so with that being said, we're done. And now we can go ahead and fly out to someplace else. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and we are here in Fuchsia City this time. And that's because there is actually a route down below over here. You probably might not have noticed that as you explore around Future City, but there is a route over here, and we are going to be exploring it. And we have two trainers on our way here.
a house over here. Let's see what's going on with this house. Dogs and burgers on special today? Is this a restaurant of some kind? This is it? Okay. That's really random. But anywho, let's go ahead and do this and then surf. And then while you were surfing, you can encounter trainers here. And these trainers are swimmer trainers. And these water Pokemon. Let's go ahead and surf downwards. I'm gonna be doing these like little like left rights in order to ensure that I'm not missing anything. Like right here, we have two trainers. Just by if I because if I just swim down, I'm not gonna be able to see these trainers. So then we go ahead and continue, and I tried diving for a Pokemon. I don't think diving for Pokemon is the way to go, but for some reason you can you can't find Pokemon for by diving, but you can by surfing. I don't really understand the logic behind that. Do, 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 do. We go ahead and continue. Do we have any more stuff? There's like a group of four trainers right there. That's quite a lot of trainers. I guess we should fight all four of them. have a complaint about the choices of swimmer trainers. There's beauties in the water. Why? They're not even water trainers at all. And we see beauties? And the sprites makes no sense either because they don't even change the spray. Instead, it's just uh, a beauty with full on clothes in the water for that matter.
Okay, still doing these ups and downs to ensure that we're not missing anybody. I know I can just keep going straight, but you know, you can never really be too sure. Seafoam. Continue onwards, and we it appears that we've made it. So we go ahead and make our way over to this side over here. And there are two caves. But then also, for some reason, there is another trainer right out over here. else? Okay, that's it. Okay, so we go ahead and make our way inside. Mm -hmm. 